Hello and welcome back to Life is Feudal Forest Village, a new beginning. There has been another update to the game as you can see. We've got a Halloween themed edition here. So they did add a few things for Halloween. Uh, they actually added something that might be a little annoying. Is uh, Birds will actually attack your crops now so you actually have to build a scarecrow to scare them away. Also, your villagers will apparently take more coal and firewood per load, and uh, they've uh, they've updated the the mule transport a little bit as well. But we haven't even got there yet, so we're not gonna have to worry about that. We are gonna have to worry about the uh, scarecrow issue here. Um, so I don't know where can we put them in the. We can't put them in the. Oh, I can put it like right there. I cannot build in this area. I can build right there though. So I can have a scarecrow to protect that crop there. We'll build that. We'll build a, a... Can I not build here? I can't build here. Oh, come on, come on. Where can I build? Okay, so we can protect that crop there. And then we're going to need another uh, scarecrow up here to protect uh, uh, this crop as well. Like so. Um... So yeah, birds will uh, attack your crops. So uh, I guess buyer beware. Uh, we're gonna have to get people on crops here in a second. Uh, so we don't have anybody yet. We've got lots of firewood right now. Decent supply of wood. Um, take some hunters off. I'll keep the builders on right now. Uh, let's just take these guys off and put them over into... Uh... Wait, what? Oh, I've got two fishing huts now. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, well, let's go here and we'll take off one out of there. One out of there. And... Uh... Oh, I see what I did. Okay, we'll keep keep our fishing going for now. Uh, we don't. I think we got. Yeah, we got a couple of babies now, so we're we're starting to grow up. Uh, we still got a little bit of room for growth, so uh, we'll get going here. Uh, we'll get those scarecrows built so that our it's interesting. We got a little bit of green here. Let's each but uh yeah so i guess we will we have to build a port if we want to if we want to, to try the uh the resource management well i mean we'll get there we're just we're not there yet we're only in year nine can't we don't want to rush things don't want to rush things uh we're building potatoes potatoes flax and potatoes i think that's fine for this uh this year uh, we're still making clothes which is good we got a bit of a stockpile of clothing it's all down here food up top is fine we should be in good shape uh, and there's one other object that was added this time it's a crypt. So instead of building a pyre to burn your bodies, you can build a crypt um, to, uh, I guess, store them and decompose them or whatever. So it's, it's, it's just another option, which is good. Um, I think I do want to get hunters up here at some point. Uh, Rate, right, say... Or, do, do, do. Right there would be a good uh, a good hunting shack. I think I'll build it. We'll build the hunter shack up there. Uh, eventually, I might get rid of this one. I don't know if we need a hunting shack down here. I don't know that we'll have much in the way of animals down here, but uh, we might. Let's check out the scarecrows. Oh, look, they got pumpkin faces. Uh, 
See, now the Scarecrow should require pumpkins. But they are continuing to uh, develop the game, so that's good. Making additions, etc., etc. Getting the hunting shack up here built. Uh, eventually, we'll need another home up here. Do I have any gatherers right now? I do not. Let's take off three fishers and get three gatherers. We might as well have some gathering going on. You can always fish more in the winter. Oh, getting some apples. Yeah, so we only have a lot of fish here right now because we don't have any gathering going on down here anymore. There's not all that much to gather down here. Anyway, uh, we are still producing charcoal right now. We are doing a little bit of hunting. We're doing hunting here, which is fine. I, I don't have the population to do too much else. Uh, once we run our almost out of uh, the ability to make clothing so once we're once we can no longer make any more clothes then what i'll do is i'll maybe put him over here on this hunting shack definitely this this barn will definitely get all full And we have a nice surplus of clothing, which is good. We got a teenager. So this building here is not filling up, but we're still not eating the bread. So we're in good shape. We're not eating the bread still. We've got a lot of fish and we'll get some potatoes coming in. I think we're out of uh, clothing stuff now. So what I'll do is I'll put him on the hunting up here. We'll get some hunting going on up here. And I'll keep making the charcoal. And eventually we'll have to just transfer somebody over to make firewood again. But Hopefully our tween will grow up. Let's go check out our teenager here. Where is he? Oh, we're expecting another baby. So we are, there's our teenager. Let's, uh, let's just wander around, check out the pumpkins. I wonder if they're gonna give people more abilities and stuff. Like you got a whole bar here of uh, possible abilities. Just wonder if they'll Give people some more. I don't know. Let's gather some resources here while we're uh, wandering around the, the village down here. Help out, help out the people down below. Might have some herbs here too. Since we still haven't built a healer's hut, I don't really feel like uh, chopping a tree. Actually, let's just take those back. So, there we go. Some resources and stuff for people to pick up if they're bored. Interesting that somebody, oh, we got two builders. We have two builders that are doing really nothing. They're just wandering around uh, doing random odd jobs. Don't really need them doing that. Uh, we can definitely get somebody. We can put you guys onto firewood and getting wood. Keep our wood supply coming in. Keep our firewood supply going. 
I gotta start thinking about where I want to put the next house. Um, I could put one. So right now we have a farm that takes two jobs. We have a forester's lodge, which could be up to two jobs. We have a hunter's shack, which is three. So that's three, seven. So a total of 10 possible jobs up here. Um, and we only have six, six homes currently. So what we could do is we could build another house, sort of uh, just like right here. And they could help out with uh, all the odd uh, jobs up there. Although during the winter, there won't be much gathering. Um, so really you only need three, five, seven, really only need seven up here technically full-time uh, but we will have other jobs going up here because we do we will have to make the the mill where is that is it in here we're gonna have to make a windmill and we'll have to make a bakery or, or three I mean it's gonna have to happen uh, if we want to build the ship and get the uh, donkey transport so it's just going to have to happen. Uh, we're staying around. Oh, we started eating some bread. It's interesting. I wonder who grabbed the bread. Oh, a couple of the homes have grabbed the bread. Which is interesting. I'm pretty sure the potatoes are all coming in here. Okay, so the, the two fields of potatoes are coming here. Oh, these ones are going here. So this barn will fill up. That's okay. Once one of these barns fills up with food, you know, then the other one can fill up. We're running out of tools. We, we also are still using the uh, primitive tools, which is, you know, not ideal. Um, but let's make a few more tools here. Just for a little bit. Get a little bit more of a stockpile of tools. Can you, I don't know if you can't tell if they have tools or don't have tools, can you? Oh, you can, okay. Clothing durability, okay. Oops. So yeah, tool durability, well, that's the scarecrow. Tool durability, so clothing's okay. And this is a happiness mood level, okay. There's not much for her to do. She's got a tool, so. Let's get a few more tools built. I don't know what the difference is between high quality and primitive. Like, I don't know if high quality work better or if they just have longer durability. But it's late summer and we're getting a lot of our uh, harvest in. Actually, he's totally done, so you can get off yours. I think yeah, you're totally done, so you guys don't need to be working it anymore. And you guys are totally done as well, so you don't need to be working it either. Uh, so we can get uh, full hunting right now. Got one random, random person. Yeah, for some reason they took some of the veggies. I'm not sure why. I 
think I'll get up to like 100 tools and then I'll stop. Early fall. This barn's gonna be full. Lots of veggies, lots of fruit. Lots of meat. So once this barn is full, then, uh, then they'll start bringing some of that stuff down here. And this barn will fill up. Might even get to another full harvest again. Ah, so someone did suggest turning back on. Where is the. Uh... Uh, worker icons. We can make them translucent. Uh, we can make them visible. Um, because then you, you'll be able to at least see the plague when they have plague and, and diseases and stuff. If you have them turned off, you can't actually see them, you know, when, when they're diseased, etc., etc. All right, you're going to go to the harvest here. We'll get a bunch more flax, which is good. some point I will need a clay mine. Oh, we don't really have a... There is some... It's nice and green down there. Um, I guess I could get a little bit of clay like right in here. It takes a lot of wood, but they don't really need it right this second, but somewhere in there we could build a clay mine. So you're done now. Take you off. You can have the random peeps do some uh, tree harvesting. We've got four teenagers now. You know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build a road. Can't build it there. That sucks. Build a road there, and then we can put a building. We might be able to put another house there. Can we fit a house there? Okay, we're just a little shy. Okay, we can't quite fit it there. That's okay, we can fix that. We have the technology. Terraform this bad boy up. Yeah, so this barn I think is totally full. So a lot of the uh, extra extra fruit and, and meat right now is coming to this barn. Which is totally fine. some reason they grab some bread. I don't know why. Pr 
person walked me out there. Oh, 2,000 fruit. That's nice. Oh, you're done, friend. You are done. Uh, we could put three people out. What we're going to do is it's there's snow on the ground. So we'll put three people on fishing. We'll get a bunch of fishing going on this year, this uh, this winter. And uh, food supply wise, we're doing pretty good. I think we're over, I think we're up over 10 grand now. For our little population, which will be good. We almost have, we have one barn basically full. We're not quite full up on hunting right now. Could be. I'm gonna leave two people to, to do some terraforming. Um, and I'm probably need, gonna need one to chop up some more firewood. So we'll leave one person on terraforming duty. Uh, actually, we can stop making tools probably right now. Go back to making uh, clothes. So I wonder if I go here. So clothing's okay for the people in this house. So they are going to, because there is no clothing in this barn. So they must be going to this barn to get the clothing. And the tools, maybe. Let's check out the, say, the tailor. Yeah. Yeah, so at uh, some point we could put another house over here maybe, but I'm still thinking my next house will be uh, maybe, maybe over here. Is he going to go kill that guy? Really? Really? Come on, dude. This, this one right here. Do you not get it? Oh. I guess it's uh, difficult to get there. Impossible, actually. Impossible. <laughs> down below 2,000 fruit. We still have a little bit of fruit down here, which is good. A lot of fruit up here. Yeah, next season this barn will fill up. We can actually start barn three uh, for overflow as well, but uh, let's make sure we get all our, our barns fully f full to the max. Yeah, because right now, if I were to uh, fish, have these two fishing lodges and these three farms and this one orchard, I can't fill this barn up. So I would need another uh, another source of food down here to try and uh, help fill this barn up. Another farm. I could put another farm in. Five teenagers now. Are we at max capacity now? Three, four... Four and six. We are at max capacity now, so we may think about expanding again. We got a bunch of uh, kids growing up. And food-wise, we're doing okay. We don't want to grow too quickly, but uh, could uh, upgrade the shacks. I I'm going to keep the shacks. I don't know why. 
I'm just gonna keep them. Uh, veggie wise, we are running out of veggies and uh, fruit down here. Uh, lots of fish, of course. And then up here we have we have a, a, a good ma amount of meat, fruit, and uh, veggies. And a little bit of the hides. I imagine they're taking the hides from, but we have no hides here anymore. I think all non-food stuff should be in the warehouse. Clothing, tools, firewood. Um, but they, they come down for the, the charcoal, the coal, charcoal. Ah, uh, year nine was, was peaceful. We uh, expanded to our maximum population at this point. Uh, next, yeah, we got one, we even got somebody who grew up. So at this point we could actually, it's late winter, we could actually think about building the next house. I'm not sure where I want it yet. I'll wait until winter is over so I can see what it looks like. Um, but our fish is continuing to go up, which is good. Veggies are going down, but our, our, our veggies aren't going down that quickly, really, because it's interesting. But uh, we got a good stockpile of food. I think we're able to manage uh, food for these this population that we have down here, no problem. And right now we're easily able to manage the uh, the population up here for food especially since that barn is completely full and it is now early spring of year 10 so i hope you've been enjoying this look at life is feudal forest village we're going to continue on hopefully at some point build a port we're gonna have to build a windmill uh, build a bakery and uh, send some ships off so we can start uh, looking at the transport system that's going to take a little while i think um, hopefully we can just keep uh, surviving i'm thinking about putting a house here And we'll see. We'll see what we what we do. Though. But uh, anyway, until next time. Bye -bye.